It's an inventor's workshop straight out of childhood fairy tales. Here in a ramshackle garage in Myanmar's largest city, Yangon, two cousins build their own magnificent flying machines. Though they've little access to the latest technology or engineering expertise, Chi Ta and Det San have studied videos online and made themselves specialists in homemade drones. Now other young would-be inventors are seeking out their advice. Many students want to invent drones. Before, they could not buy any accessories to invent drones. But now, through us, they can. They come here and consult about how to build drones. But drones are becoming far more than just a hobby in Myanmar. At this university in the center of the country, staff and students have been using aerial vehicles to map damage caused by last summer's devastating floods, which at their peak affected more than one and a half million people. The first reason was to find out the extent of the loss using the pictures from the drone. The second was to study why the river spreads the flood and how the flow of the river changed. Third was to set up rescue places for the victims by showing our pictures. As in several other countries, regulation governing drones in Myanmar is in its infancy. Enthusiasts in big cities run the risk of being questioned over potential security risks. But for many, the aim is simply to have fun. When my drone is flying, I feel amazing, very happy. I like the freedom of movement that it has, and I want to make myself as free as the drone. For those not able to build their own, drones are still a relatively expensive hobby. But with Myanmar's economy on an upward trajectory, and a new generation of tech-savvy young people coming to the fore, the sky is very much the limit.